singer but not from Off Anatomy? Oh, yes. Tell us, where did you get your inspiration for the Off Anatomy? Well, um, inspiration, I'd say, is just uh, comes from a lot of my influences, um, hearing music and wanting to be in the music scene and, <clears throat> you know, wanting to bring something different to Sacramento. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that's the inspiration. I, I have a big, I have a big passion for music, and I, I want to make something happen. You know, I want to. Uh, I don't care about getting famous. I don't care about getting rich. I care about people hearing our music and enjoying it. Really. Yeah. So, would you consider doing free shows? Oh, absolutely. For local I, scenes. Absolutely. I, I've always believed like, you know, I don't think music should have a price. Really. I mean. The bands need support, you know, um, you know, shows is where I think a lot of it is, I mean, but every now and then I'd love to just put on like a surprise show, like a, you know, how they used to have the MySpace secret shows back in the day, you know, a lot of my big favorite bands would all of a sudden, you know, out of nowhere they'd announce, hey, if you guys are in, uh, you know, if you guys are in California, we'll put on a free show tonight at, you know, Blank, come, come see us, boom, you get in free, and then they say, no, the place is packed. Yeah. They're putting on a free show, they're expanding their fan base, and I really think it's an awesome thing to do for the fans. I'm all about that, so. Well, how did you guys first start getting together? Um, well, uh, one word, and that's Denny's. Um, Denny's is our signature uh, uh, rendezvous location, it's our secret layer, so <coughs> make sure that's not in the interview. Uh, yeah, it, was, it started out, the Moth Anatomy started with, you know, just a simple Craigslist meetup between Kevin, uh, Cero, and I. Um, at the time, he wasn't really interested in doing guitar work. I had kind of, you know, I pulled some strings and convinced him, you know, hey, man, you know, if you're good on guitar, let's, let's get you on guitar. And he was willing, and he had that sound I was looking for. This is the kind of sound I feel is kind of breaking the mold of, of, what, we're, of what a lot of bands are doing today. And... Uh, yeah, so, you know, long story short, about bing bada boom, meet up with Kevin, meet up with Alvaro, again at a Denny's, Alvaro brings Darren into the scene. Uh, we've gone through a couple bass players, but I think we, we found the right guy, so, I, you know, I feel we're solid where we're at. All right, well, Nathan Richards, lead singer of the Muff Anatomy, thank you for the interview, sir. Uh, you're welcome. You're the guitarist of the Muff Anatomy, why don't you tell us about yourself? How did you guys get together originally? Uh, originally it was, I had a Craigslist ad out, and Nathan did as well, and mine was posting with, saying that I was just looking to sing in a band, and, and I found Nathan's, and he had mentioned in his ad some you know, bands that I, I liked as well, and so I, I emailed him, and we kind of just like, right off the bat figured out, like, oh, I wanted to sing, and he's a singer, but he was going to help me kind of find a band if he could. And then he asked me, like, hey, would you consider maybe playing guitar in this band? Because I, you know, and I kind of wrote off playing guitar in another band for a while after my last kind of like fail band. And uh, I said, yeah, let's meet up. So we, we, made, we met up at a, at a Denny's and talked for a little while and realized that we both had the same influences and same goals and didn't want to make the same mistakes as before. And, and that's how it happened. So starting the fresh band from Clean Slate? Yeah, kind of yeah. From the ground up? Exactly, yeah, from the ground up. We're the first two members and I uh, started writing, recorded a demo of, of one of our songs and, and then from there we, we found Alvaro and Darren and then, you know, we've had a handful of bass players since but, you know, now we have finally have a, you know, a solid bass player, Zach, and, you know, now we're, we're moving forward. Yeah, were you ever in a high school band or anything? Yeah, yeah, my first band, uh, kind of looks... I mean, like, the band nerds, brass players... Oh, no, no, I was, that's the funny, yeah, I was never actually in, like, high school band or jazz band or anything like that. I was, I would always go in the band room and use their equipment, like, on lunch or on break and stuff, and, and play with their stuff and always play it too loud, and the band teacher would always hate that and throw me out. But, yeah, yeah, no, I was never in high school band or anything like that. I just, I don't know, I didn't really want to play what they were playing. I was playing rock music, so I just locked myself away in my room for, for days on end and learned how to play all my favorite albums, you know, Smashing Pumpkin, Siamese Dream, learned how to play every song, every guitar part of there. Did you start a guitarist kid? Yeah, yeah. How long ago was that? Uh, about 17 years ago. I was about 10 years old. Well, unfortunately,
unfortunately, Alvaro cannot be here with us tonight. Uh, how do you think his guitar throws things together with the rest of the band? His, uh, Alvaro's guitar playing meshes really, really well. He's, he's the first guitar player that I've ever played with that his, his playing style is so different from mine, yet it, it pulls it together kind of as one. I, I like to to lay down a really, really solid rhythm backing and, and write a lot of the, just the backbone, basically, uh, of, of the guitar part of the band. So you play more the rhythm guitar? Yeah, yeah, I primarily play most of the rhythm, and you know, except for maybe a few like rhythmic leads in some of our songs, but Alvaro, he's, he's all about you know, the melodic leads and, and tying in melody with his guitar playing, so that's how it kind of really fits fits in and just in the points. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's a perfect balance. What's something personally you'd like your fans to know about yourself? Um, I like, uh, I'm really into history. I, I really like researching like ancient history, World War II history, like ancient Egyptians and ancient civilization. All right, well, this was Kevin with the Moth Anatomy. Thank you for the interview. Alright, we're here. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mark and Anatomy, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself? Did you give the band? Uh, Alvaro. He found these guys and just hit me up and I said, yeah, I'll do it. Sounds fucking sick, bro. Yeah. You guys were in a band together before? Yeah, 20 Days of Drilling. Yeah. Some, some scene band. Hi, hi. So, how long have you been playing the drums? Uh, since I was 10 or 11. What would you like your fans to know about you? My favorite show is Dexter, Breaking Bad, The Walking Dead. So, slasher kind of thing? Yeah. Gore. It's not that gore. Are you local to Second Man? Yeah, all my life. Awesome. Born and raised. What's your favorite deep, dark in the closet boy band if you had to pick? Like boy bands, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this was Darren with the Moth Anatomy. Thanks for the interview. Bassist from the Moth Anatomy. Tell us, Zach, how did you guys get together? How did you end up being the bassist? Um, you know, actually, the Moth Anatomy and my previous band, um, Some Seek Forgiveness, played a couple of shows together, and um, I had recently heard that they were looking for a bass player and hadn't found anybody, and I really liked their sound and. I was having a little difficulty with my previous band, so um, I decided to give them a shot, call them up, met up at the Denny's, and been with them ever since. Yeah? Uh, tell us where you're from. Uh, right here in good old Sacramento, born and raised. Awesome. And uh, who are your musical influences? Um, I would say initially my first influence would be Metallica. It's where I learned how to play. Um, then from there on, um, Nirvana, uh, Deftones, Nothing Face, progressed all the way through Lamb of God and now uh, Between the Barrier. So you'd say you have a wide musical genre? Like yes. if someone were to put on your Pandora and put it on shuffle, they would not know what to expect? No idea. <laughs> it's good to Coming across everything. So, anything you'd like your fans to know about you personally? Um, I do like free. Love free. If you got free, I'll take it. Doesn't matter what it is, I'll take it. If I don't like it, I'll give it to somebody else. That's it. <laughs> and uh, who is your dark closet boy band? You know, I have to choose. I don't know, man. I can't really, you know, I can't really choose. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm still, I'm just gonna say crisscross. Right. I'm going to go with Chris Cross, even though they're not a boy band. That's as close as I get. All right, well, Zach with the Mock Anatomy, thank you for the interview. Yeah, no problem.